Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 My Rise Vidya and we are now on the red brand. Yes, we are now part of the Monday Night Raw roster and uh, let's see, I don't want to talk to Tasia yet because she might turn me heel. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk to my man uh, Angel Garza. So let's go ahead and talk to him. I have been waiting for the right moment ever since you arrived here on the Raw brand. The right moment for what? Come on now. You must know I've been interested in you from the moment we met. It's not every day that a superstar with so much talent is also blessed with so much beauty. I'm sure you are overwhelmed with suitors, but know that it takes a man like myself to appreciate such a truly rare flower. Is this dude for real? Wow. Uh, thank you, I think. Perhaps you would like to explore a partnership? Both in and out of the ring? Yeah, let's roll with it. Well, I am an explorer at heart. Jess, I knew you had an adventurous soul. Let's test our chemistry in a mixed attack match <clears> tonight. <throat> and dinner afterwards is on me. So hell hath no fury like a superstar, superstar scorn. And they don't butcher the saying. It's hell hath no fury over a superstar scorn. That's what it should say. Because hell hath no fury over a woman scorn. Is the actual saying, but anyway, um, if we complete the story, we get six thousand eight hundred and sixty-five fans on top of what we already have. So let's go ahead and do this. And like I said, I already played through the My Rise female story on my other uh, profile, so uh, I know how the story is gonna end. So uh, we go flip the script on uh, Mr. Garza when the time is right. The following contest <clears throat> is scheduled for. On the way to the ring, Alex Thunder Anderson. So yeah, guys, as you can tell, I slightly tweaked uh, my girl's attire. She is wearing similar bottoms. They are different. As you see, they got the rips in the back, unlike the other bottoms she had on before. Uh, these don't appear to be clipping as bad as the previous bottoms she was wearing. And uh, the texturing... Uh, works a lot better on, on these bottoms and the war I, I have been taking notes on the, the things that I've noticed in this game for my review So yeah, I got my notes over there. I already listed all the bad things I want to address and I listed some good things I want to address So it's Carmella and Dolph Ziggler. All right You need to call me damn Rose girl Oh yeah. Oh nice. Ah, uh, we got some clipping issues right there. Nope. Alright. It's alright. She's still hurt. She's still hurt. And we're going to address this hit detection issue. I'm pretty sure I timed that just right. This is some bullshit right here. That, that should have counted as a hit, and it didn't. Ah, Jesus. No! Come on, no sell, no sell. So it sucks that I have to avoid using certain moves because they don't work. Look at that. 
I know I hit her with that clothesline. That is some bullshit. If it was the other way around, they would have get they would have made it seem like oh she hit me no matter what. Oh no 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 no. First I'm gonna knock Ziggler down and then we're bringing Kamala's bitch ass back in the ring. Let's go. Better give me that loot ass press. Come on, we done. to hit us up and she has this to say I don't know what you think you're doing with Angel but be careful he was talking to me before he started talking to you and he may be swoon worthy and he may be swoon worthy but that boy is trouble and my girl responds with are you sure you're not just jealous our chemistry in the ring was undeniable I haven't Stop thinking about it all week. You move, I move, I move, you move. We were in a perfect sync, like a beautiful tango. Just imagine what we can accomplish together. You know what's also undeniable? The confusing DM I got from Liv. Did you have something going on with her? Liv? I may have flirted with Liv in the past, but it was just a fling. Nothing like what I feel with you. Unfortunately, Lee may have become too attached. I cannot say I blame her, but do not be concerned. I only have eyes for you. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess. Do not guess. This is so. Do not let a jealous Lee Morgan spoil the chemistry that we share. As for tonight, make no mistake that I will be in your corner. I hear that Mandy Rose has two possible opponents in mind. You will reign triumphant over either. But who would you prefer to conquer? So our choices are Tamina or Ember Moon. Uh, let's go with Tamina. Beautiful. I cannot wait for footage of your victory to dominate her timeline. Alright, we're off to a good start in this match. Squash match. Squash match. <laughs> oh, live again. Impressive victory tonight, but with Angel in your corner. Listen, I'm trying to do you a solid here. What has Angel What has Angel told you about his relationship with me? Believe me, Angel Garza will use you and then toss you aside for his new flavor of the week. Did you feel it? Our bond is stronger than ever. You are the angel this angel has been waiting for. Come, let us take our relationship to the next level and shout it from the rooftops. Liv messaged me. Again. Were you in a relationship with her? I'm not sure you're being truthful with me. Either way, she's not over you. Whatever your relationship was. Are you really so concerned about Liv, mi amor? Let us concern ourselves with other things, such as the moon, the stars, and the wonder that amid the vastness that is this world, we have found each other. Liv is in my past, but you, you are my future. Let's see, I think we should go our separate ways. You're right. Let's see what we have. Well, we gotta keep the story going until I can... You're right. Regardless of your past, I want to see what we have. 
Who has lived to interfere in my personal life? What noble fire from the woman who has stolen my heart? In fact, I'm putting her on notice. If Liv is so concerned about our relationship, she can settle any differences she has with me in a match tonight. And I want you in my corner, Angel. Whether Liv likes it or not. So tonight on WWE Raw, Alice confronts Liv about her right to date whoever she wants. And she wants Angel Garza in her corner. Or no, she just wants Angel Garza. Okay. Um, so Angel Garza responds, Alice shall bring her magnificent talent and I shall bring my unfaltering support. Uh, can't wait to be in your corner, my love. Right. And slam. Squash match. Let's go. Oh, we're, we're watching you, alright? We're watching you get squeezed. All right, I think this is the point to where we can decide if we're going to let Duke call it off or if she can call it off. Let's find out together. I was truly honored to be in your corner tonight, mi amor. I appreciate your support. Actually, Angel, there's something I've been wanting to talk to you about. Ask Angel to be exclusive, break up with Angel. I asked, my my other girl asked him to be exclusive, and he called it off, so check this out. This whole mess with Liv has showed me that I need to focus on my WWE career right now. This has been a fun fling, but I think it's time to move on. I'm sorry. Uh, do not apologize, mi amor. I respect the strength of a woman such as yourself. While my heart is broken, I know in time, even this wound shall heal. Well, he took it well. So hell hath no fury like a superstar scorn. And we earn 6,865 fans for that story. And, uh, yeah. You know what? Overall, not, not a bad start. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah, I couldn't have my girl, you know what I'm saying, being on the receiving end of a breakup, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. <clears throat> Gotta make sure that, you know, she she stays on top of her game, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. I had a crazy dream. I turned on a classic movie after Raw ended, and when I fell asleep, my brain was a whirlwind of wicked witches, scarecrows, and tin oh my fighting all my favorite WWE superstars. Got me thinking about tornado tag team matches. Any chance you'd click your heels and make all my dreams come true? <laughs> so team up with Carmella and indulge Mark's cinema-inspired fantasy. If we complete this, we'll get uh, 11,340 uh, fans. And we'll get more attribute points. Alright, let's do this. So we're on team with Carmella. We're facing against Charlotte and Bailey. Alright. Interesting combo. Damn it. I was trying to save Carmella. And I'm getting my ass whipped for it. For all my troubles. And it's no bueno. Nope. Alright. Stunner! Oh, I so had her. I so had her. Get her, Mella! Oh, I just don't start this second. Let's go! Oh, come on, Mella, stay on top of Bailey. We could have ended this thing already. Let's go!
Still got it. Let's go. <laughs> Squash. And Bailey's still getting some more. Let's go. No place like WWE. I see what you did there. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. We completed uh, the uh, storyline here. Let's go ahead. And, uh, oh, Corey's here. Let's talk to Corey. I've been hearing reports that Mandy Rose is up to her old tricks again, generally messing with the roster and making some pretty bizarre matches for her own amusement. I think she might back off a bit if you beat her current lackey in a Falls Count Anywhere match. So defeat Bailey and end Mandy's GM power trip. Let's do it. What is it with some of you gals that be getting this little bit of power, you know what I mean? Letting it go to your heads. I mean, come on now. Come on now. Let's go, Bailey. Stunna. No, you get your ass up. You that's press. Oh shit! Was not close enough. Ow. And that's gonna cost me. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, down. Joe, what's up? It's time to end you. Let's go. Kill the messenger. Story complete. All right. Oh, snap. We got Bailey with the um, the old Intercontinental Championship again. Why? Why are we giving these ladies hand-me-down mid-card titles? You know what I mean? For them to use in their uh, so-called mid-card division. That is that 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 is not a brag. That is that is not a that is not a good look. That is giving me ideas though. I should make a a very unique uh, women's intercontinental championship. My custom championship. You know what I mean? But anyway, uh, then we got Charlotte Flair. Let's talk to her first. Can you believe the nerve? The audacity? I mean, what was Mandy Rose even thinking? Um, yes, no, I don't know, Charlotte. What are we talking about here? I'm surprised you haven't heard. I was talking to Mandy about properly enshrining my excellence here on Raw by crowning me officially as Queen of the Ring. It has a nice ring to it, right? I mean, a simple, understandable request. Mandy, however, got the twisted idea to turn my birthright into a Queen of the Ring tournament for the right to face me. She claimed it's an attempt to generate TV ratings and boost brand awareness. But I know Mandy has it out for me. Right. I don't know. It seems like a pretty understandable move for a general manager to make. It's ludicrous. I mean, who's even going to enter this tournament and challenge me for the title of Queen of the Ring? Oh, I don't know. Maybe um, my girl? If she won't listen to me. I'm not sure you can talk any sense into her. Oh shit, I think I accidentally skipped my girl's uh, dialogue there. But anyway. Talk some sense? Oh no, I'm gonna make sure that I have a spot in that tournament. Because you're right about one thing, Charlotte. Queen of the Ring does have a nice ring to it. For me. You're going to regret this. So if we win this, or if we complete this, we get a new jacket. We get the Queen of the Ring arena. Both the normal arena and the Thunderdome arena. So let's go ahead and let's do this. I'm not going to lie. You know what? It would be cool if you did both a Queen of the Ring and King of the Ring 
you know, tournament. Kind of like, you know, like, like, like a prom night kind of thing where you crown a king and queen. What if WWE brought back the King of the Ring tournament for the guys? And then you also have a Queen of the Ring tournament as well. And then you can have it, and then you, you can cap it off at a, um, at a pay-per-view, right? You would have to come up with a, with a name, though, that's not just directed towards the men, like King of the Ring. And, you, and it can't be just the women either with Queen of the Ring. You would have to call it something to where it fits both the men and the women. Since you're crowning both the King of the Ring and the Queen of the Ring. I think that would be dope. I'm I'm just saying it would be a nice spin on on a on a classic tournament that they uh you know like to bring back every once in a blue moon. Uh let's see here. Who will earn the right to take on Miss Charlotte for the crown? Uh GM Mandy Rose just announced that the first round matches of the first ever WWE Raw Queen of the Ring tournament uh Mandy Rose Queen of the Ring tournament Action kicks off as Naomi takes on Nia Jax, and Dana Brooke t- and Dana Brooke confronts uh, Nat by nature. Are you kidding me? Um, and Liv Morgan faces Bianca Belair, and uh, Alice Anderson battles against Ember Moon. Okay, and then Miss Charlotte responds with, "What a pathetic excuse for a tournament, WWE. None of these women deserve to face me." Insecure much? I mean, I'm just saying. So be careful, Miss Charlotte. Your insecurity is showing. Thank you. Oh, shit. Why did I taunt? I meant to run away. So I wouldn't get hit with that. But no. I had to show off. And it cost me. Get in that corner. I gotta say, I'm not impressed with a lot of these arenas because they're, they're basically all like LED boards and stuff, so it's easy to just change the graphic to whatever show you want it to be. I miss the old days of WWE when they used to like really deck out the stages and whatnot. Like, you know, like the back, the backlash, 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 backlash stage would have like the uh, swinging hooks and then like the Royal Rumble when it, when it would have like, like, a, like a theme. Like the Royal Rumble back in 2000, how it was like a car wreck, you know what I mean? They made it look, look, like, look like a car accident, you know what I mean, with a bunch of wrecked cars and stuff, and then the entrance ramp was like a was like a street. Like, I miss those days when they would go all out and just decorate the stages and whatnot, instead of using LED boards. Yes! No! We're quicker, come on! We're quicker. Let's go. We gotta be faster. Dress up. Dress up and hurry up. Let's go. You gonna get it. Come on. Power bomb for that Navigaz. Let's go. Oh hell. Uh uh. Nope. But that does give me an idea. Thanks to you. Oh, too close to the ropes. Or maybe not. Damn it, we were. She was gonna tap though. I felt it. Hugs. Hugs. So WWE, congrats to Bianca Belair, Nat by Nature, Naomi WWE, and Alice Anderson for Advancing to the next round of the Queen of the Ring tournament, Charlotte. Why are we wasting our time with this again, WWE? WWE Mandy Rose. Uh, hey, if you want to cut to the chase, let's skip the rest of the tournament and you can bow down to me as the real Queen of the Ring, Miss Charlotte. Ooh, 
And, of course, Natty responds with, Aren't you forgetting you have to face me first? Alice Anderson, you know someone who really comes from wrestling royalty. Don't count any crowns before they're on your head. I don't think that quite works. But, um, yeah, anyway. Come on, Nat by nature. Oh, hell. Ow. Braddy Natty, get your ass. Oh, what the hell? Damn, hit detection, I tell you. This hit detection is a big pile of trash. 2K, you need to pass this game before someone lays a smackdown on your road, a po can they ass. Oh, snappers. Oh, on the on her spine. Ouch. Ouch. There you go. My oh my oh. Time to put this away. Cause I'm not playing no games to night so it's time for you to lose let's do this let's do this no how dare you nope get your ass in the corner Let's do this. Bye. Yeah. You know, as much as it pains me to admit, you've been doing an adequate job in this sham of a tournament. Still, nothing that's on the level of a real queen, of course, but passable. Ooh, hey, I, I, I gotta say, when, when when it comes to Charlotte's model and the final product compared to how she looked in the trailer, top notch, top notch. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder if you'll feel the same way when I win the finals and we end up facing each other for the crown. I wouldn't underestimate me. I'll estimate you exactly as it pleases me. Thank you very much. That's fine. I mean. It's only going to hurt you at the end of the day, not me. After besting the competition tonight, Alice Anderson goes head-to-head -head with at Bianca Belair WWE in the finals of the Queen of the Ring tournament. Who will face Miss Charlotte WWE for the crown? See what I mean about the arena, man? I'm, I'm not impressed with, with these with, with freaking light-up boards and stuff, man. Y'all need to start decking out your oh stages. God. For special events. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Squash match. Squash match. Let's do it. Ah! She must have heard me. Damn it. Apparently she can read my thoughts. Nope. Get off of me. Time to end this. It was a nice try. It really was. Nothing personal though, but we gotta end this. Alright, Charlotte could be the queen. She could be the, the uh, wicked queen. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Okay. So let's see. Miss Charlotte says 
I just learned that Alice Anderson has been taken to a local medical facility. I'm raiding here, do you mind? Um, for a torn ligament. Um, I just hate to see a fellow superstar go down like that. Sorry, Mandy Rose. Guess you'll have to cancel the tournament. Uh, we'll see about that, Miss Charlotte. Alice, hold up. I might not be 100%, but guess who's been cleared, Miss Charlotte? Seems like reports of my demise were a bit exaggerated by someone on social media. You know what else is clear? You wouldn't you wouldn't have attacked me if you weren't scared. The queen scared? That's laughable. Yeah, we'll we'll see about that. For she who laughs last, I'm just saying for health. Squash match! Squash match! Damn you! Almost had her too, man. Damn it. All right, let's try this again. Get your ass up. Bow down to the, bow down to the queen. The remix. Bow down to the. Bow down to the queen. <laughs> oh, look at this. We got the crown. We got the scepter. Let's go. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Would have been nice if she had a throne. I'm just saying. And no cape either. What the hell, man? What the hell? So Queen of the Ring story is finito. And uh, I think this will be a good stopping point. I mean, we, we unlocked some good stuff here. We got the jacket. We got the Queen of the Ring uh, arena. And we got 11,000 plus fans. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Make sure y'all tune in next time for when we confront Bailey about that Intercontinental Championship situation she got going on over there. But until then, it is your boy Jason JV reminding y'all to don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, guys, also don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the video description down below. Don't forget to check out, of course, the new merch. Uh, link is in the description down below. And uh, yeah, it's your boy Jason JV. And y'all have a blessed one. Catch y'all on the next one. All right. Peace.